Yeah. And to y'all? And, uh, here we go with the SEC. Yeah, let's get it started with Mississippi State. <laughs> Thanks, SEC scheduler. Now, it's hot. Um, you know, you going against not only one of the top teams in the league, but top team in the country. So, chance to see right where we're at, right off the bat. Well, it's, it, we know it's coming. You know they're the best rebounding team in the country, and we're one of the worst defensive rebounding teams in the country. That's fine. We, we by playing four guards, we're not going to turn it over, but we're going to be a bad rebounding team. I understand that. So we try to turn them into speed rebounds, um, force long shots that hopefully rebound long and hit the floor, and we can win that battle. If they're rebounds at nine feet, we're not going to get to them. They've got – I think the top two individual rebounders in maybe the country in McGowan and Andriel Howard. So we'll try to turn them into speed rebounds. A lot of threes, force them to take a lot of jump shots, and then challenge our kids to beat them to the ball uh, on the floor. We've got to get every every ball that gets below seven feet, we got to get, because they're going to get all the ones at nine feet, and that's fine. <clears throat> they rebound, I, you'll have to look the stat up, but almost 50% of their misses initial misses, they rebound. Their offensive efficiency, rebounding efficiency is crazy. So um, you've got to hope that there's a lot of tip balls. You know, you can't tell Kiara or Taylor or um, any of our kids to go up and get a rebound against McGowan. You just can't do it. Uh, they're hard to simulate in practice. It's that time of the year where our men's practice team's gone. They're not in classes. Uh, Reggie Cheney's probably not going to come work out with us, but if he, that'd be the best thing we could do to simulate McGowan and be try to get Cheney out there. But um, we battled those guys for a half last year. We really did, and then we were just so tired um, it got really away from us score wise. But I looked at the box score. I think they returned 18 points from last year's game, uh, and we returned 68 or something, so or 50 something. Uh, we'll point that out. You know. Happened to see the end of their Oregon game, um, and something frustrated McCow. She didn't even play the last six minutes. Did you happen to see that? I, I did. They did a really good. She only took five shots, and um, you know it, their style of play forced them to make some changes. And um, I'm not sure we can do what Oregon did. Oregon's got a six-four wing player and a six-four post player, but um, it did frustrate her, and she only took five shots. And like you said, didn't play down the stretch. So um, we'll try to uh, learn from some things that they did. I'm not sure we can simulate them exactly, but we're going to try some of that. Also heard you say on radio the other day about, was it Galden that has a leg issue? Yeah, yeah. she's been battling a little bit of soreness. And uh, we've it's just, it's just really slowed her down a little bit. And we all know that what she is is explosive. And when... If you've ever had an injury like that, you know you can't be explosive. So, um, slowed her down a little bit. She's been really diligent about rehab the last week and a half. Uh, she'll be the first one to tell you she's not been very good about rehab in the past, but she's really been diligent about it, and I think she's getting better. <clears throat> With the start of SEC play, is it – is it like starting the season over? What's the attitude like? Um, I don't – not completely over. No, I think I think our kids understand there's a um, – it, it changes what we're playing for a little bit. We've talked about what it takes to go to the NCAA tournament. This is – you know, it's the first time Mal's figured out what RPI meant. You know, she was like, Coach, what's RPI? You know, so we're in the top – we're near the top 50. It's time to talk about it. Um, if you can be in the top 50 in the RPI in our league and have um, seven to eight wins, you're going to be in the conversation when it comes March, historically speaking. So at 11 and three, uh, you start looking at things like that. You start thinking about postseason. This time last year, we weren't at that point. This year we are, so they understand we've got 16 unique opportunities to try to uh, put one in the win column. and whether it's Mississippi State or somebody else on there, they're all worth one. You don't get a bonus point for, for beating somebody in the win column. It helps you RPI-wise, but it doesn't, you don't get a bonus point in the win column. <clears throat> Anything else? Oh. Yeah. Quick, just, I'm sorry. Grant, yeah. I don't know if you had one. Go. Uh, just, just in terms of you know, some of the thrilling games, the thrilling finishes in non-conference play, maybe 
not necessarily. I know, obviously, you're, you're looking solely on Mississippi State right now. but maybe, No, I, nope. I'm not. I look back. That's fine. Go ahead. I'm <laughs> not you that look, guy. You look back and you see yeah. those dramatic finishes and maybe how that may help this team down the road, yep. knowing they've been in those nail biters and they've pulled a lot of those out. It's a confidence thing. And, I, and it's, it's, it's kind of our own worst enemy sometimes. You can, you know, I try to implore to them to get off to a great start and they kind of look at me like, okay, well, what if we just got off to a great start in the third quarter, Coach? It's been working. You know, I have told them that's not going to work against Mississippi State. You're, you can't have a 10-minute lull against these guys. The, the deficit would be too large. So, But the confidence is a good thing to have, and we have drawn upon it. And if y'all would go back, and we, I came in here one of these times telling y'all we beat our men's practice team in a shootout. Remember that? And that was a big deal for us. And ever since then, I think we had seven last possession games or one possession games into the last minute. And I think we went five and two in those. Arizona State and Iowa State got us, but we won five games. Our, our record could be drastically different. Those games could have certainly gone against us. Uh, Wisconsin, last-second defensive play, a last-second basket against Tulsa, a last-second basket against UTA. Um, so I think it does give them confidence. Um, you have to be careful, though. We all know confidence can be a problem sometimes. Um, but we've got to get closer to playing 40 minutes to, to challenge the top of our league. Uh, knowing Vic, he's probably not going to be ambushable, you know, in a situation no. like this. But you said the other day something about – correct me if I'm wrong, but you're kind of playing up or down to the competition. I we mean, have, if that's the case, will this be a good thing? Well, we'll find out. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a challenge. We have done that. We, I think we've put ourselves to play in whatever the situation was. If if it's going to be a, you know, a, a drag out, we play a drag out. If it's going to be a tempo game, we play in the tempo. So – we can't ambush Vic. That's impossible. He has – well, first and foremost, I learned a lot of things from him. <laughs> so, he's going to know. Um, but we'll try a few things. So we're we're going to do a couple things he hasn't uh, – he might not have in that big file that he carries around whenever y'all talk to him. Uh, but he, he will be and their staff will be as prepared as anybody we face all year. Thank you, Thanks, everybody.